welcome to our new edition of the Children's Time Chapel Chats, the show where we get to the core of who God is and who we are in God's world. We have entered a new season in the church, Lent, the time where we get ready for Easter and take extra special care to grow closer to God. This month on the show, we are going to be interviewing people who have had special relationships, close encounters with God and the promises that God has made to them. Our first guest this morning comes to us from the faraway land of Canaan. When she's not busy packing up and moving in the middle of the night, she's laughing at inappropriate times. Folks, help us welcome to the show this morning, Sarah. Go ahead, have a seat. Welcome. Oh, yep, that's that's just the microphone. It's yep. Don't mind it. It's microphone. It will pick up your voice. Yeah, we're so excited to have you this morning, Sarah. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. I don't know what's going on, but I'm glad to be here. <laughs> so on the show this month, we are interviewing people who have had uh, special relationships and have experienced promises from God. And seeing as that you're here, I'm guessing you have a lot of experience with that. I uh, do. Uh, I've had a lot of promises from God. Uh, my husband, Abraham, and I both together have had some pretty radical promises given to us. Yeah, well, I see here that you've had to move, well, a long way. I did. I moved. Have you been to Canaan before? No, okay. can't say I have. Well, so God told my husband, uh, Abram, that was his name at the time. So oh. We got new names. I don't know if you knew that. It's pretty nice. awesome. And uh, so we had to go to Canaan, which I was like, I don't know where Canaan is. But I was like, okay, I guess we're going. So we packed up in the middle of the night and we moved and left everything and everyone we knew and to fulfill this promise of being a great nation. and That must have taken a lot of trust and faith in God. Uh, it did. And yeah, and yeah, a lot of patience. And of course, I had to pack up everything because, I mean, is Abraham going to do it? I mean, husbands, am yeah. I right? You're right. I mean, I'm like, just pack it right. The pottery's going to break. Put the sheep fur in, you know, and just, anyway. So, but a lot of trust in God, for sure. Yeah. Well, tell me about some of these promises that God made to you. Okay. So, obviously, the big thing was moving to this new place that we didn't know anything about. Mm -hmm. um, but God's big thing was, okay, so you're going to have all these descendants. Uh, he took Abram out and said, okay, look at the stars. Do you guys have stars here? We do. There's a lot of light pollution, so you can't really see them, but we do have stars. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if you were to go someplace where you could see the stars... There's a lot of them. Mm. Like, you literally can't count them all. And God was like, you're going to have descendants more than the stars in the sky. Which, I'm like, well, that sounds great. But yeah. there's a little problem. We don't have a kid. So well, how's that going to happen? I mean, you're you're young. You can you can have children. Well, thanks. I know I look pretty good for my age, but um, I'm actually 90. No. Yeah. Get out of town. Yeah. I will not. <laughs> well, you will in a little bit when we send you home. Okay. But I need some of the night serum that they have in Canaan, apparently. It's pretty nice. I mean, what do you guys do to stay young here? Oh, you know, uh, just exercise, uh, Peloton bike. This is not an advertisement for Peloton. Okay. You know, the normal stuff. I don't get, don't know what that is, mm. but that whatever, whatever works. Well, so tell us what happened with this promise of descendants and children. Oh, so eventually... We did have a son named Isaac. Uh, Abraham was a hundred. Wow. And I was 90 when that Wow. Happened. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah, uh, it was a little tiring. Just uh, so you know, I'm actually really still tired. I, I can imagine. I have three of my own, so. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, so Sarah, uh, tell us, in your experience with God and the promises that God has made to you, what um, words of wisdom do you have about who God is? Well, uh, Really, God is really faithful. God keeps God's promises uh, always. It may take a while, but God's promises uh, are something we you can trust in. That is wonderful. Thank you so much, Sarah, for joining us this morning. Folks, stay tuned in the weeks to come as we interview more people who have had relationships and experienced promises from God. Sarah, would you like to sign us off today? I don't know what that means. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have prepared you for this. Um, Tell them, say, God is with you everywhere you go. God is with you wherever you go, mm -hmm. including Canaan. Correct. And then that right there. That. I, I can't read. Oh, sorry. Uh, you're a beloved child of God. Okay. You are a beloved child of God. Thank you, Sarah. Folks, we will see you next week.